I'm Sophia, I play drums for Jen, the band. I kind of got approached through Facebook really randomly, like honestly, just like a random message, sort of like the one that comes up in your message requests, saying, um, oh, we're a band from Malta and we really, we've got like two weeks until we go on tour. Um, by any chance, you, first off, they didn't know if I was a drummer. Janelle said, do you play drums? I said, yeah, I don't know how, I still don't really know how she found me, but um, <laughs> My name is Leah, I play the bass for Jen, and I joined Jen in, uh, God, I think it was about 2015? I was about 18, I'd known, I'd known Janelle and kind of Leona for a good couple years when they were involved in the band. I used to go to the gigs and everything. And then um, the month of my 18th birthday, um, Janelle texted me being like, hey, um, you know, we need, we need a session basis for a couple of gigs. Uh, would you be willing to fill in? And like, and I almost didn't take it up because I've never properly played with the band before, but then I did and it was pretty cool. We spent um, the most part of 2019 playing, playing a ton of shows and then uh, in 2020 when um, when the lockdown first got announced it was it was kind of like okay we we planned to carry on playing shows in 2020 but we also did plan to spend a bit of time writing um, so in a way we were able to still write that the entire EP throughout the first lockdown which was um, definitely a different way to do it I mean kind of you don't really know if the songs are going to work until you're actually all together in one room we were intending to write in fact we tried to write a bit in 2019 and we actually struggled a lot more than expected and then you know suddenly when we couldn't actually see each other and we had a strict deadline that we were you know that we had to meet and suddenly then the songs happened <laughs> which was brilliant really a part of a big thing that came with moving to the uk was having sophia join and be part of the creative um, voice which i feel like now is such a it's it's such a significant um, new element to it that um, I would say a big part of the way the songs evolved is due to that. I definitely noticed there was psychedelic kind of influence and a few t few songs in particular that I was so drawn to um, stylistically I just really fell in love with. We're just trying to make the most of the energy that we have now to maybe maybe create more as well so that we have more material because that's 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 been um you know like even aside from this whole release the fact that there was such a big gap between material um kind of made built up this like tension to come up with more stuff and release more stuff and now we're releasing some but we want to do more and it's just I mean, maybe it'll snowball into suddenly five more albums. <laughs> I feel like it's such an integral part of my drive and motivation and source of anything that I want to know how to be able to like transform that energy into music of my own and, you know, like find the voice in that, which there, you know, you hear a lot of, you would hear a lot of things like, you know, you can do that on a hobbyist level or something like that, but, you know, it's just, I just don't want to do anything else with my time, so. Um, I, I listen to music constantly. If I'm not making music, I'm listening to music. It really is just, it is a, it is a lifeline. It's a, it's, 
it's a lifestyle as well and um it i do believe that it saves people and it brings people together um underground scenes especially i grew up kind of immersing myself in gigs and and that kind of culture and the communities that kind of keep them alive as well um there's nothing there's nothing like it